Cobra Kai fans, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into some thrilling details about Cobra Kai Season 6, Part 2, which is just two months away from its premiere on November 15th, 2024. All eyes will be on the Seikai Taikai, the global karate tournament that promises to take the stakes to a whole new level. One of the most exciting aspects of this season is how the Seikai Taikai will differ from the All Valley Tournament, which has been the cornerstone of the series. For the first time, we're stepping outside the small region of Southern California and entering a global arena. This shift from a local competition to an international stage is bound to introduce new dynamics and challenges. From what we've seen in Part 1 of Season 6, the Sekai Taikai is set to introduce a plethora of new rules and formats that will make it feel entirely different from what we're used to. I recently made a video discussing all the rules and regulations we know so far about the Sekai Taikai, so be sure to check that out to stay updated before Part 2 premieres. Now let's talk about the potential brutality of this tournament. In the All Valley, scoring was straightforward. If you made direct contact, you earned a point. However, the Sekai Taikai seems to be shrouded in uncertainty. We don't yet know if direct contact will even count towards scoring or how points will be tracked overall. Perhaps the most chilling statement came from Mike Barnes, who claimed that people have died in this tournament. Some fans might question whether he was being truthful or just trying to intimidate the younger competitors. However, the bloody headband from Mr. Miyagi's trunk serves as a grim confirmation of the tournament's dangers. Even co-creator John Hurwitz has expressed confidence in Barnes's words, indicating that the threat of fatalities could play a significant role in the storyline. This brings us to a crucial question. Is someone at risk of dying in this tournament? While some may argue that Cobra Kai wouldn't go that far, the series has a history of showcasing brutality and character deaths. We've seen significant losses before, like Ponytail and Captain Turner, and even some tragic moments from the past. I genuinely believe that someone will be pushed to the brink during the Sekai Taikai. The introduction of this level of brutality suggests that the stakes are high, and with both junior and senior competitions, including a potential sensei bracket, the risks are even greater. As we await the premiere of Part 2, it's clear that the Seikai Taikai will push the boundaries of what we've come to expect from Cobra Kai tournaments. Whether or not a death occurs, the heightened brutality and intense competition promise to deliver thrilling moments in this final season. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Do you think there's a significant chance that someone could actually die in this tournament? Or do you believe that death won't be a factor in the final season? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, and if not, feel free to dislike it. Your feedback is always appreciated and helps the channel grow. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to stay updated on everything related to Cobra Kai as we lead up to the premiere of Part 2. I have plenty more content coming your way, so don't miss out. See you in the next video.